How Tesla created such a strong and known electric vehicle and automotive brand without traditional advertising. Welcome back, dear subscribers and friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please you also join our community, uh, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or EV coverage. Dennis Gursky has a very interesting story at evanx.com discussing how has Tesla created such a strong brand without traditional advertising. Dennis says, Tesla has become disruptive for many things, but one of the biggest surprises is the company's decision to forego traditional advertising campaigns. When was the last time you saw a TV commercial, website, banner, ad, or billboard pointing you toward a Tesla? Never, right? Says Dennis, and he continues that Tesla's anti-advertising strategy has ironically made them one of the fastest growing automaker in history. And it turns out Tesla doesn't do traditional public relations either. Yet everyone, it seems, now knows Tesla. Tesla. So if Tesla steers clear from traditional ads and PR, uh, how has the company been able to embed itself uh, so firmly into our public eyes? In fact, regarding the public relations, if you remember on January uh, um, for 2021, Elon Musk overhauled industries ripe for disruption. Automotive and aerospace sector were pre-Musk getting somewhat stagnant. So after the sale of PayPal, Musk came along with Tesla and SpaceX and changed everything with his uh, penchant for innovation. Um, and at the heart of the FA fractured media landscape lied yet another broken industry, public relations. Now it appeared that Elon Musk wanted to tackle Tesla PR on his own, and he was going to do it on his own disruptive way. Matt McFarland, uh, Mac, 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 McFarland at CNN Business spoke with PR expert Andy Cunningham in January, uh, who once worked with Steve Jobs. McFarland asked Cunningham if Elon Musk really needed uh, or needs a PR department or publicist to rein uh, him in. Uh, he, this is what uh, McFarland said. Musk, uh, uh, she felt, just wants to be himself and not be managed. The approach seems to be working, but uh, doesn't believe any other CEO could pull it off. Musk uh, has uh, the rare fate status of a visionary who is seen as making the world a better place. His work is so inspirational to so many, writes McFarland. In turn, Tesla has all but stopped engaging publicly with the traditional news media in the United States, instead relying on Musk's Twitter account to company's YouTube channel, social media influencers, and direct emails to inform the public, notes McFarland. In lieu of traditional PR, Elon Musk have decided to go directly to the end uh, consumer. The PR industry, not surprisingly, is pretty upset in a world fraught with instability. This engagement is not a path to success and can result in dramatic reputational ramifications with long-term consequences, the Public Relations Society of America said of Musk's move to abandon PR. So how is it going? We're going to see how Tesla is able uh, to embed itself so firmly into our public sphere uh, without PR or without advertising. Uh, Evan S. Uh, Gursky says the first focus is on the product, to build a good product. Tesla channeled its efforts and budgets into simply making a better product. For all the FUD out there, in the real world, you would have to look hard for a Tesla owner who isn't excited about driving electric. In fact, yesterday I reported a special report from Consumer Reports who um, said that Tesla owners are the happiest owners of electric vehicles with the highest scores to an answer to a question if they would again buy Tesla. So you can't find a Tesla owner which is unhappy with driving an electric Tesla. Tesla tends to funnel its cash back into ever more disruptive growth across the board by shunning the franchise dealership experience, delivering next generation technology, providing non-stop software updates, and building a robust 
fast supercharger network, Tesla has been able to create an abundance of excitement around the brand. And this is why Tesla probably doesn't need PR or advertisement. There is another emphasis at Tesla, not only the product, but also emphasis, emphasizing innovation. Gursky says, given the high speed at which Tesla innovates and the multifaceted nature of their business, it would be hard for a legacy automaker to keep up in the new cycle the same way Tesla does with its new cars, new technology and 360 degree clean energy solutions. Just look at the number of things that Tesla is working on. Cybertruck, Roadster, Semi-ATV, full self-driving FSD, software updates over the air, construction progress at Giga Shanghai, Giga Berlin and Giga Texas, and hopefully soon Giga India, solar roof, energy storage, battery developments, and a much anticipated $25,000 compact Tesla car to be sold globally. That's a plethora of future projects. And I'm sure Probably I missed some like Tesla Investor, Inventors, Power Pack, Power Wall, and so on. Everything that Tesla does brings excitement. So product, innovation, and these are two things that other legacy car makers can do. And Elon on Twitter. Quick, what's the name of Mazda CEO, Honda's, BMW's? We probably don't know. I imagine that you probably couldn't name them, but I'm sure Gursky says you know who Elon Musk is, and not simply because you are a fan of Tesla or electric vehicles in general. In fact, according to friend follow, Elon Musk is the 30th most followed person on Twitter in the world with a jaw-dropping 44 million followers. Gursky from evanx.com says, I can assure you Tesla has not delivered 44 million cars yet. Simply put, Musk's activity on Twitter does more than any Super Bowl ad ever could for Tesla or for any company. He will share memes, respond to questions, break news and provoke conversations and of course sometimes controversy as well. I don't support controversy but you know he what I like about Elon Musk on Twitter is that he responds to questions. He hasn't responded to Tork News question yet but maybe that they will come to. Rather than rather than a stiff corporate account run by some strong PR outfit, we get Tesla updates straight from the uh, Elon Musk himself. Elon generates plenty of excitement surrounding the company. There is simply no CEO out there who is more connected within the Twitter sphere. Um, Herbert Diss of Volkswagen is coming up and getting more Twitter followers. Recently he joined Twitter. So this is one of the reasons we know him. Now Tesla also does memorable events. Uh, Gursky writes in Evonix that most legacy automakers tend to reveal their new models at auto shows, with 2020 being an obvious exception to this rule. Regardless, anytime Tesla needs to unveil a new car, they hold their own event. Typically, leading up to the event, Tesla fans will try to predict what might be revealed. Invites often go to Tesla owners and influencers, so social fields are chock full of each attendee's unique experiences. Opening up the event to owners and influencers is definitely a credible way to build up loyalty and in turn, those same folks tend to give some of those good vibes back to Tesla. In addition to new car launches, Tesla also unveils new technology advancements at events. Two years ago, we had Autonomy Day. Last year, we had Battery Day. And it seems like this year, we may see an AI Day. I don't know. And also the word of mouth. Tesla also appreciates word of mouth, says Gursky. The company has used a referral system to spread the good word for years. Giving prizes to owners who received referrals incentivizes them to talk openly about their vehicle purchase decision. In addition, people are curious about electric vehicles. So being an EV owner in an ICE world, in a gas car world, really doesn't make sparking up a conventional all that difficult. After all, no one really talks about how much they save you pumping their car full of gas, but people do that about their electric cars. 
Gursky concludes that for the time being, it doesn't appear to be necessary for Tesla to curve out a budget for traditional advertising. That said, there is probably a place for some kind of non-traditional ad spent, maybe a documentary film aimed at educating people about electric cars. Uh, sadly, disinformation campaigns against electric vehicles are still rampant. So there is still many folks out there who are misinformed about electric vehicles and refuse to even consider such a shift in lifestyle. Gursky concludes that whether Tesla takes it upon themselves to educate the masses with specific advertising efforts remains to be seen, but for now most seem to be happy that they are reinventing for growth Tesla gigafactories, superchargers, service centers, and of course their cars. I remember friends last year in one of the uh, quarterly calls, there was a, an, a pro, uh, proposal by uh, uh, Tesla owners, not by the uh, management, um, to have $50 per car for advertising. That would give Tesla about $550 million for advertising, but it didn't pass, although at some point Elon Musk, I think on Twitter said he favored that. For now, Tesla doesn't need it, but as competition in China, as I reported this morning, picks up and competition globally will pick up and everyone at some point will make electric cars with good quality and good uh, uh, technology. Tesla may still be ahead, but then Tesla will probably need to advertise more or innovate more or come up with uh, new innovatives and more events and uh, Elon may be more active on Twitter, although he's almost daily on Twitter. So we'll see. But so far, Tesla has managed to um, uh, build a strong brand without traditional advertising, using good products, uh, emphasizing innovation, uh, Elon being on Twitter, having memorable events and through word of mouth. Let me know what your thoughts are. Did I miss anything, friends? In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please uh, share this with social, in social media and uh, like it if you can. And ring the notification bell after you subscribe, joining our community. And I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And see you soon later today.